Hello guys, it's me, Tonic TZW, and here we are in the Tier 7 Iowa. This is an old replay because, as you know, I don't just put the good stuff online. Sometimes I show you how much of a King Edward potato that I can be. And this one I did truly duck up and make a complete pig's ear of this match but not before a friend and colleague made a bit of a pig's ear of it as well but let's get into the game we are in the iowa this is an old game so will to rebuild had not been nerfed in this game yet um we didn't have epic or legendary mods but what we do have is a full division with myself with um griffin's claw and with chin in his carrier and we all know that chin is absolutely awesome in his carriers now this cap we're going to play it um we do want to push but i want to get in a position first of all where i can hopefully not take too much damage myself while dealing some damage at the enemy so there we go we get that salvo off while the bismarck is broadside we are watching those shells float in from a distance but we don't really get a lot off it if anything at all but we've got quite a decent reload on this and uh, there is a cruiser who's run straight into the island there he is having to back up and there is only one thing to do here and that that is to send him back to port so there goes the salvo across the top we barely make it across the top of the island those are looking absolutely beautiful and boom there you go with a first blood and we are on the board so there is a Mainz CE, so that'll kind of tell you how old this game is. We got the Mainz CE, but the will to rebuild nerf hasn't happened. But we're looking and we can't drop shots across the top at him. Now, as I said, I don't play um, a lot of high tier battleships. And when I do, I tend to play them more cautiously. But sometimes I do get aggressive and go all out and try to brawl. Um, it doesn't always work out. But there's Mr. Bismarck coming broadside still around the corner. You think he would have learned by now not to be sailing broadside. But it looks like he slowed down just enough. But we knock a turret out and we get a chip of damage and we are going to go full forward now and we are going to be aggressive and push through onto this cap. Mr. Bismarck is reconsidering his options in life, whether or not he should go forwards or backwards. But the DD that is with us has um, popped his smoke to use his guns. It is a Friesland and he is going all out on that guy. But there is the Bismarck. We got one turret left. We'll plop that turret across there. And we're hitting the brakes again, expecting this Odin to um, be coming out towards us. But it doesn't look like he's got that long to live, to be honest, because that Friesland is absolutely railing on him. That is crazy. I'd love to know what he's using for a build on that to get um, such a rapid reload, because it certainly seems a lot quicker than the reload that I have on mine. But there we go two ships down we've lost two ships as well the bismarck is behind the island we know we've got a cruise out there as well so we decide that we are now going to push this cap now the Mainz CE is a nasty HE spammer. It is a royal pain in the backside. Um, I think our team have completely given up on air cap, which isn't great. Um, red team have pushed B cap. And I always say that you should always play the cap that you spawn on. And taking B cap can give you an advantage because if you can get it early, then nobody wants to go near it and then be in the middle of everything. It's probably the least fought cap in the game to be honest but red team are on here and uh, we're now three ships down to there too and we decide that it is time for us to push to be aggressive and to try and take this one back to a red team to push them hard and do what we can to them 
but as I said, it looks good so far. Um, we've got the carrier cover with Chain. He's harassing things. We've got a DD leading the way there. And, uh, oh, look, there is the Shikaku. Let's see if we can get our guns on him. Are we going to do it? Let's look. No, fires, shuts out. Is he going to run away from us? I don't know. I can't remember what this Salvo does. Um, it's looking good. Um, it's looking very good, and no, it's not that great, to be honest, but he knows that we can see him now, so he's going to keep running. Billy Bismarck there decides that discretion is the better part of valour, and he is now going to make a chicken run, and our Friesland is going to absolutely get railing on him again. So here we go, three turrets out at the Bismarck, he is being bombarded by the Friesland, we get a good hit, and that is kill number two. And I'm feeling rather good with myself. I'm in a big battleship, and I've got two kills and 80,000 damage. But there is the mines. We're pushing around the corner. We don't want to burn too much. There's a Soviet Soyuz there. And uh, let's see if we can get some shots across onto this mines. I think he's just changed his engine speed. But there we go. Every shot counts here. We take out a gun, but we don't really do much more damage than that. But we are going to continue this aggressive push and try and push hard against Red Team because it seems the majority of them are there in the middle of B cap. And I'm thinking that surely, surely the team can squeeze them. But no, the team are folding faster than an origami expert making one of those cranes the winged birds not a crane that lifts heavy stuff um yeah their team are collapsing basically it's um our division plus the friesland and that's not very good because um yeah we are going to make a potato but not before we make another superb play with the iowa there we are we've already given him one salvo we're going to bring the turrets around and we are going to pop those shots off across at him try and get the carrier out of this game because then we can focus the big ships without worry there is the yugumo ideally we'd love the friesland to be taking him out but chin is on his case um and then griff picks him up with the kill and i'm calling to griff at this point it's a long time ago but i do remember don't don't go straight in let's let's bow into these guys let's use will to rebuild let's use our secondaries and let chin come in and harass these guys and take them out but griff either didn't hear me or he chose to ignore my instructions um, which he's allowed to do because I'm not the boss of anything really. Um, but I get the shots on and Griff, even though he's half health now, watch what is going to happen because he is going to get absolutely slammed. And this is probably the point where this game turns and it is absolutely lost because I could have been reliant on him for will to rebuild. Um, instead, the Soyuz, who has been absolutely pounded and plastered, is in zombie mode. And even though the Friesland is going to town on him, um, he is on life support from um, the ship beside him, which I think is a flander. Um, that Mainz CE is in the smoke behind them, so there's probably going to be torpedoes. And I'm sort of saying to Chin, look screw it we've lost this we're not pulling it back from this one losing griff has potentially cost us this game and i say i'm going to keep my guns on the soyuz and i'm going to run the other guy and i'm going to take a kraken out of this one whether i live or die but in the heat of the moment as i'm steaming towards his guys i don't turn my turrets fast enough and I accidentally click the lock turret button and stop them from turning. This is not good. There we go. Um, can't get guns on. Secondaries are still going. 
and I'm against the side of this other ship. He's flooding. I'm flooding. One of us has to die. And guess what? It's going to be me. Yeah, we completely screwed that one up. And the Friesland is still going bonkers with his guns. He's trying to do what he can. It's the Friesland and Chin left. But the Friesland is not going to survive much longer either. Because with the Mainz and the Yugumo and uh, the battleship out there with the secondaries, he is dead and gone in no time at all so that is an absolute shame carriers can only run so far and they can only run so fast and it was just a matter of minutes for them to catch up with chin and obviously they're just going to go to town because that is an absolutely simple kill but in that time that we were playing we picked up two dev strikes the first blood and the high caliber with 175,000 damage we still took 450,000 credits home from it and given that i say that i don't play high tier battleships very often i don't think i did too badly there i think as a division we did okay as a team we did absolutely pants and we did completely balls that one up but there you go life isn't all perfect games and citadels and dev strikes i do make mistakes the same as everybody else and i'm not ashamed to admit it and if you like that there is a full playlist here of my spud runs so click on there and have a laugh at my expense and perhaps you might learn something that i learned in those games until next time take care of yourselves and goodbye